Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Coaster Chai, YouTube channel, Dr. Stubborn, but built for theme park news. And welcome to a theme park news update. A lot of stuff has happened at Energylandia over these last uh, couple of days, these last few days, while the park's been closed and we've been in lockdown. Loads of stuff has happened. I've seen across the forums pictures, drone pictures uh, from construction of this boomerang coaster and also some slide construction now before we get started please like comment subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a youtube video please share the channel with your friends your family and on social media because the more likes the more subs the more followers the more this channel gets noticed by you guys and the more we can and the more people we me can entertain and also guys make sure you keep getting your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question in the comments down below for our next subscriber milestone Q&A session to celebrate 2,000 subs when we hit it. Uh, so for now, let's get into this video. So, obviously I can't share with you the actual pictures. However, you can go and look across the forums. There's a, I think there's a Polish coaster forum on there. I can't remember the name of it, but I do remember that's where I first discovered these. And of course, it was mentioned on the Coaster Force forum. Uh, that the drone pictures and the pictures of construction were discovered about the boomerang and the slides. Uh, so the boomerang, the family boomerang we knew about. This is a this is the, a replica model of Savon, which is currently testing at Faroop Summerland. We know that parks like uh, Faroop Summerland with Savon, and we know Trips Jewels family boomerang. It hasn't really stopped. Uh, the current the coronavirus hasn't really stopped. Uh, rides being tested so we do know that those rides are still testing and a model of Savon at Far Up Summerland is coming to Energylandia now it mentions an RCDB 2020 but I'm gonna reckon it'll be 2021 that's just my guess but if it is 2020 fair enough uh, now we don't know what themed area this is set to be in comment down below if you know uh, but uh, and you can already see on your screen just a model of a type of family boomer and not the exact model uh, but it is a family boomerang. It's the family boomerang at Anagilandia already. So we know this is going to be a different model to the one already there. Of course, themes like the vampire and the bats. I love the theming on there. So I hope the theme is really good for this new one. Uh, so with this boomerang then, if you need some stats and facts while you're looking at a different boomerang on your screen that's currently at the park. Uh, it has a length of 780.8 feet. Height of 79.4 feet. And a speed of 37.3 miles per hour. And of course, it has a G-force um, of 2.8. And that is the exact stats for Savon at Faroop Summerland. Now, I also mentioned slide construction. Now, we've mentioned water parks in the past with Rulantica at Europa Park. This brand new massive one coming to Greater Manchester in the next few years. And Energylandia is no different. There is... Well, we've seen sort of concept arts for a slide complex, but we never really saw anything of it until we saw construction pictures again on the Polish forum. And of course, Coastal Force forum does have a link to that forum where you can check it out on the Energylandia's future attractions thread on Coastal Force forum. And of course, the pictures show construction of slides, new slides, in fact. Now, the, the actual the actual concept uh, that we sh that we saw. Uh, about this new side complex that's set to come in uh, to the water park shows two skybox slides it shows a tornado slide and it also shows a wall slide now it's not the specifics uh, definitely not but we know that the bowl the it, what looks like a behemoth bowl uh, is it's enclosed it's an enclosed bowl element so it looks like a behemoth bowl 30 maybe uh, from pro we don't know if this is pro side technologies or not but if it is then fair enough um, the wall slide looks very good as well. And of course, with those two slides at the side, the ones down the middle and running rings around the other two slides is, of course, the pink and blue skybox slides. Now, of course, skybox, basically, for those of you who don't know, look at Bonsai Pipelines at the Six Flags Hurricane Harbour water parks. It is a trapdoor water slide. You're standing on this door. You're enclosed in. You're going to get given a few seconds, and then you get dropped. And, the, and these, these Bonsai Pipeline ones do drop about um, about six stories, six stories high. Uh, I know some of them are. Alpine Free Falls, one of them, 
um, at the Great Escape as Washwater Kingdom. We know that one is uh, six stories high. We know that some of the Bonsai Pipelines, in fact nearly all of them, are six stories high. So it is a tall water slide. Uh, now we're not sure exactly how tall this Energy Landia one's going to be. However, I would like to think it's still a very, very tall one. I I I'm very excited to see what this is going to look like. Now, we, now in terms of the actual construction pitch that we saw, again you can go check them out. Um, it seemed like some kind of light blue slide pieces were on site, so that could be for either the skybox or the uh, well, the blue skybox, or it could be for a the behemoth bowl, maybe maybe a different part of the behemoth bowl. But it looks very likely that that will be part of the blue skybox slide. So. This is looking like a multi-slide complex, uh, which is nice. Now, there was another concept art on that Polish forum, which you can go and look at again if you follow the link via the Coaster Force forum. You can actually see uh, the the theme, what looks like the theming that could go with it, unless it's a different side complex. Now, we do know that they are introducing some kind of like lazy river with a jungle theme as well. Uh, now, it could be for that. You never know. There could be some pieces on site for that different experience we know it's right at the bottom of the water park so it's right at the end uh it's a, a bit like a mini expansion at the end of the water park so uh that's a very interesting one to discuss uh we haven't seen any physical evidence of construction of that yet however it could potentially be on there but we just might not know it yet so with this slide construction and of course the boomerang stuff it is all going off at energy landing now we know the become a mine train that's costing around about 11 million euros i believe that is being pushed back till 2021 so uh, we know that's in the works we've heard rumors things like tilt coasters and things like that in the works for the next few years as well so energylandia really is going to surpass six fives magic mountain here for the coaster record um i still find it very skeptical having two family boomerangs but i guess if you want different models fair enough uh but i I think if they once introduce this new one, I think they're going to theme it up nicely well. And I think maybe, maybe that first family boomerang is going to get sent to another park and they'll replace it with a different type of coaster. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. But, there you go. So, that is all the stuff from Energy Landy. You saw some pictures on your screen from the skybox and all the different water slides that are set to be introduced or rumored to be introduced to this new uh, motorcycle complex at the park. And, of course, we saw some pictures of the current boomerang in the park as well. So there's a lot of stuff going on right now at Energylandia behind closed doors. And I think the future for Energylandia is very, very bright. Uh, I, I still want to go out there and experience Hyperion, the Intamin Mega Coaster, uh, the Mayan Roller Coaster, which is the Evercomer SLC. I know, Evercomer SLC on my bucket list. Never thought. Uh, <laughs> after Infusion, even though Kamal is good, after Infusion, nah, I didn't think I'd experience another SLC again. But, um, but no, the Mine Roller Coaster is one of the coasts I'd like to experience. Uh, and Angelandia really has an improving coastline. Zadra looks like one of the most beautiful RMCs I've ever seen in my life. So that is a bucket list coaster for me. Um, so I think Angelandia is a real bucket list park for me. It's one of the bucket list parks in Europe uh, for me personally. So with all this construction going on, I think they've got a real chance of improving their park humongously by the time we finish. Uh, this lockdown so and of course the next few years as well i think by 2025 we're going to have this park as the the coaster capital of the world so i think there's a real potential here with this so thank you guys so so much for watching this theme park news update from angelandia like i said in previous videos we've got loads of stuff coming over the next few weeks uh as we enter the final phase of the lockdown stage fingers crossed and um yeah we've got loads of content still to come guys so make sure you stay tuned for more content to come on this channel so thank you guys so, so much for watching this theme park news from update. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, keep it in the coast life. I'm Coast Chell. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a lot of